the dialogic process for reflective practice can actually be uh, asynchronous. Asynchronous discussion is where the dialogue occurs sometime after experience and between experiences. So in a sense they're out of step. Um, asynchronous discussion tends to be very uh, theory oriented and um, allows teachers to have time to reflect and to um, um, produce their collaborations and contributions with others. Asynchronous discussion enables teachers because uh, of the time to think and reflect and to be critical to develop higher order thinking skills, skills for uh, evaluation and synthesis and creation and uh, these add to the reflective practitioner's uh, bag of skills. Asynchronous discussion allows the reflective practitioner to conceptualize ideas and issues uh, and, and theories from uh, different viewpoints to understand different perspectives on things. And um, it also is a very good means for collaborative learning. Uh, the, the act of collaboration is, is really shared creation and uh, shared discovery with others. And asynchronous dialogue uh, enables uh, the thinking process to inform the dialogue very directly. And this links nicely to Vy Vygotsky's socio-cultural learning theory in that um, learning experiences are, uh, 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 happen at a social cultural level. Uh, in other words, the experiences are communicated and shared with a community, a community of professionals, and this is essential for learning. It's essential for the internalization of knowledge. And there is, therefore, from this point of view, a, a constant interplay um, between uh, the social processes um, engaged, in, uh, engaged with, with uh, dialogue and individual development and individual knowing. And this can be looked at from Dewey's uh, experience-based learning theory also, uh, which uh, tells us that experiences not only shared but reconstructed through reflection and Therefore, reflection is at the heart of uh, knowledge, uh, the knowledge construction process. And reflective practice then is, is framed by uh, difficult, perplexing uh, questions uh, and experiences um, which we, experience, which we uh, have to uh, first try to understand and then resolve those situations to achieve some useful endpoint. Um, in this sense, it's very much about integrating deliberation and action, integrating thinking, critical thinking, with the actions of those thinking. And Halliday's socio-economic perspective on learning uh, in terms of dialogue tells us that language that we use simultaneously performs certain functions. It um, is experiential, but at the same time it's interpersonal and also um, uh, engages in certain textual functions in terms of uh, how people are interacting. And so what is important for us to understand in terms of the dialogic process for reflection is that language is socially shaped by experience but is also shaping um, our experience. Um, there is an interplay between language and dialogue.